Hi, 72 Day Star here, out in the walk and vlog. I think as an atheist, we have to uh, do accept one pretty valid criticism that's received from uh, believers. That sometimes we do come across as arrogant, uh, even putting down the intelligence of believers. Now, it might not be popular to consider, but is there any truth to it? If you consider the work of Lynn Harvey and Nyborg, who looked at 137 countries and found that G, which is a measure for intelligence, is pretty much a typical IQ test, um, correlated negatively with religious adherence and pretty strong correlation of 0.6 with a few exceptions in a few different uh, countries. Now, if you had two people, if you did the thought experiment, if you had two people who were, you know, genetically the same and were similarly brought up in supportive households, one secular, one religiously adherent, which one would be more intelligent, as defined as able to understand and able to uh, solve problems? Wouldn't the handicap of accepting magical thinking in some instances, um, on average, tend to derail the analytical thought process? That if you're willing to just say, oh, well, maybe it's some transcendent thing that I can't understand, and so you don't stick with it and develop those analytical skills. Just a thought, not a conclusion. Another thing worth considering is the different ideas of intelligence. Consider, here's three of the most creative minds I've ever been exposed to in, in my life. J.R.R. Tolkien, who was re religiously devout, C.S. Lewis, also, and Kurt Gödel. All of these people were able to, in their minds, construct these uh, bizarre and wonderful worlds. Might it be that these sort of no-holds-bars, anything's possible, that seems to precipitate out of a belief in supernatural, all-powerful beings, actually contribute to their creative abilities? And if we assessed creativity in terms of intelligence, might there be a counterbalancing advantage there? Also consider this. Women, on average, are more religiously devout than men. However, women, on average, are more emotionally sensitive than men. They are more um, group-oriented than men. They have, and if we included that sort of uh, quality in our consideration of intelligence, might these things balance out? Now, in my request for comments below, I'm hoping that some people can advance the ball further than, uh, you know, religious believers are idiots, or, conversely, atheists, uh, atheism requires more faith than God. Anyways, some thoughts for the evening. 7-2 day star, out. Look at that up there. Love them clouds.